I ain't never gonna forget the day that the daguerreotype photographer came to the ditches around Petersburg. That's it, boys. Just a little to the left now. Hold still for the flash. You got it. So many memories, so many friends. The boys from Company B. That year, in 1864, with the Yankee army on our tails. There was men like grizzled old Tom, and then another fella that we called the Preacher. And then there was me. I was just a boy, but my friends, they looked after me. Why? I thought we wouldn't ever be beaten. We had God on our side. <laughs> After all, we had our very own regular angel of mercy there with us. Miss Laura, her name was. I'll never forget it when she used to say. Some people say it's not a southern lady's place to be nursing soldiers, but I say they would much rather have me wiping their brow than some old shouting sergeant. Isn't that right? She had a husband, but tell you the truth, I think his mind was broke through liquor. I cut off that many arms and legs, I lost count. I'm tired. And then there was that morning. It all looked so quiet. But then the fellow on watch, he hollered out, It's happening! It looked like the entire Union Army was coming for us. While we ran through the fences as quick as a jackrabbit, fellas loading guns and passing ammunition up to the men on the parapet. I was in the reserve, being rather green for action. Even though some of those men had fought from Shiloh to Charlottesville, everybody looked scared though. I ain't afraid to say it. We blazed away with our muskets, knowing that all the time the mighty mortar dictator could bring down fire on the Union line. It was like a tide, one vast, unstoppable tide. Our men fought like lions, hand to hand, but the colors stood. Then came the cry we all been feeling. We were outflanked. I ain't proud of what I did that day, and the memory haunts me still. But I tried to run, and as the enemy came on, my world went black. The boys of Company B. Old men's memories never fade. Thank you.